And now the first thing I'm going to do, and this is really important, is I'm going to capture the application ID. I'm going to paste that to a note notebook or a little notepad. And I'm going to capture my tenant ID or my directory ID. Okay. Those are two things that I'm going to be using quite a bit. Um, and uh, I, I don't want to uh, like lose them or miss out on them. So I'm going to grab them, copy them. Heck, I'm actually going to copy this one again because I didn't do one part of it. I didn't paste it right. Boom. All right. Now I have captured in here the name, the app ID, the tenant ID. And then what I did, and this is important, is I created what the sign-in ID is going to look like, okay? And that is comprised of app colon, the uh, app ID up to the at sign, and at sign, and then the tenant ID beyond that, okay? So this is the equivalent of the email uh, when it comes to signing in that I'd be using, okay? Now, I'm not going to show you any more of this screen because we're about to like put in a secret. The secrets are something that you have to be very careful of. This is what you know, will allow that access to persist. And if someone gets hold of that and they have what I just showed you, they'd be able to go in and like run amok and do things for you. Now, for those of you who are sharp-eyed and like figure out what these things are for this, uh, I'm not terribly worried. Number one, I don't have anything... That, suspicious in my tenant number two i'm gonna have deleted all of this by the time you see this video so i'm not concerned because i'm gonna blow it all away okay so next thing we're going to do is going to make sure that we go in and we assign our roles or our api permissions okay now um, once i click on this i want to make sure i go in and that i add permissions i'm going to be looking for fabric or the power bi service to to enable that now, I happen to know at the time of this video, there's no fabric services in here because uh, I've already looked. It doesn't exist. We're talking Power BI services. So I'm going to find the Power BI service. I'm going to select this service. Now, I could choose to delegate permissions, and they're going to be like at the equivalent of like an individual user.